Hey, this is Matt with Two Feet Two Worlds, and today I uh, have an adventure planned for us. It's a video that I've been wanting to film for a little while. Uh, one thing that has always fascinated me and also kind of creeped me out a little bit is that in China, uh, there aren't really that many graveyards. Uh, what happens when uh, the dead are buried here is often they'll be buried on your property uh, or they'll have a, a section of land uh, where they do bury people but it's not technically a graveyard it's kind of a community uh, area um, and there's actually a couple places around us where from our apartment we can see uh, by someone's yard where uh, someone was buried and there's like a tomb there so uh, what I want to do today is go out and film some of these locations and kind of shed some light on uh, how China uh, deals with their dead. So, a little creepy, a little morbid, if that, that kind of stuff doesn't interest you. Um, I do have some other videos uh, where I talk about culture and things like that. So, uh, but if you're okay with that and you want to learn a little bit today, uh, why don't you join me on this next adventure? To give you guys a little example of what I'm talking about. This is just a road going up uh, near our house, going out towards the beach. And right off the side of the road here, there are uh, some tombs uh, with little structures next to them. This is kind of typical uh, for the area I'm in. It's a, uh, I don't know if this is like a house for the spirit to live in, uh, but what we have here is these raised tomb structures. Uh, no markings um, who they are unless that says who they are. And then this flat area and then kind of a little place in the front uh, to put incense. Uh, so it looks like there's three individuals here but it's just right off the road. Off the path here there are a couple uh, here. Uh, there's one there and one here. I don't know if you can see it but this is off the path. Um, back in this area, there are some more back there. But I'm not gonna go over there. Uh, there's cactuses and different things. I'm gonna take us to a place that has a little bit more, uh, kind of bigger ones. kind of steep, real sandy. I'm gonna to try to go up here and see what I can see. Very steep. Uh, pushing my bike up. That's 
It's a little forest area, looks like. Here where we're at in China, there's a kind of like a pine forest before you get to the uh, before you get to the ocean. So like all this, it's like a layer of pine trees. I do have to be careful out here. Uh, Hainan does have some poisonous snakes. So just watching where I'm walking and trying to stay away from them for the most part. So, all right. So I've been walking in the forest for a little way, a little ways, and I came across a few out here, a few tombs. So I'm gonna leave my bike here and we'll check them out. Uh, so you see here, there's a rock structure. It probably had a cap on top. It looks like some kind of concrete uh, thing was on top. Uh, so this is one of three that are right here, three or four, I can't tell. Uh, here's another one with the cap kind of deteriorating. Looks like it's made of brick. Here's another place, I think maybe where they lit incense. I can see some uh, incense sticks here. Here's another small uh, pile of bricks right here. And then over here, we have another uh, brick pile tomb. And I see some more off over this way, so I'm gonna head up there and check them out. All right, so off to the right over here is where uh, these other tombs are. Uh, it looks like this is more what we would consider kind of a cemetery area. It looks like they're more uh, more dense here, but you can say see the same design here. Got some incense sticks. Same design. And coming up over here, we have some more. And I don't know what's going on over here, but it looks like it got destroyed and okay. Don't know what I'm gonna find here, but it looks like there was a coffin. There's a coffin there. Looks like some clothes, some linens, and this is destroyed, completely destroyed. I don't know how long ago it was, but the whole coffin is just sitting, like the wood is just sitting right there. And then the grave is right here. So I don't know if they came and like grabbed the, the bones or the body or what, but it's just open right here. I can see the bottom of the coffin in there too. Kind of creepy. Over here we have, looks like a wall someone built around this area. Um, maybe so other people don't, uh, I guess, bury anyone here, or maybe it's a family plot. I don't know really how it goes here, but uh, there's just a cinder block wall that surrounds this uh, tomb area. We have some remnants of fireworks. And it also looks like an offering of some water um, at this tomb. And it is customary during a holiday called Tomb Sweeping uh, Day for people to come out, clean the tombs off, uh, leave offerings. Uh, for dead ancestors and such. Uh, it actually falls on my birthday. Uh, it's usually anywhere from April 4th uh, to April 
seventh uh, each year. So I think this year uh, it's not on my birthday actually, but sometimes it has been my birthday. Here's a long line of tombs uh, going over here, I'm guessing maybe for a family. But there are 11 that I count. And it looks like a bigger uh, house like structure uh, right here. This is one of the more elaborate tombs I've seen out here. Uh, the house has kind of some ornamentation on the top. And then the tomb actually is colored. It's starting to crack a little bit on the bottom, but you can see it's colored uh, kind of a, it used to be a red color, I think. And then it's also got a kind of design on around it. So, one of the more elaborate ones I've seen out here today. Here's a very tall monument in front of this uh, tomb. Uh, you can see at the top it has the Great Wall. The Great Wall of China kind of in tiles and a very large, impressive monument with some alcohol down here at the bottom. Often also, the family will burn uh, paper money, paper cars, paper clothes, paper just about anything. And really the belief is, is that uh, the family member will get to experience these things in the afterlife. Uh, so they'll burn different items for them, leave items on the tomb for uh, the spirit of the ancestor. Here's another elaborate uh, tomb with a giant headstone, uh, multiple family members. I don't know what happened here, but it's completely destroyed. It looks like there were a bunch of tombs lined up and they were just completely demolished and left in a pile right here. They look old because from what I see, there are a bunch of uh, headstones right here. You can see the writing on them. But they're kind of just tossed to the side here uh, in front of this big mound of brick and rubble. So it looks very similar to uh, everything else that I've seen, uh, but this one has been broken open for some reason. Oh, and that's strange. Now you can see the line. It's just a line of tombs right there. I don't see any like bones or anything, so I'm wondering if these were just dug up or what was going on. And right here you can see there's some cactus growing inside of a glass box and I don't know why there would be a glass box here. But anyway, there's all the tombs. Even the front right here has been defaced. Uh, the front of the uh, facade kind of thing right here with the tile, those have all been broken. So I'm not sure what caused this or why it was done, but here it is. 
also found a little concrete pumpkin, it looks like, right here. So, I guess the same thing in the States. A lot of people will put some different ty type of decoration uh, by the grave. This one has a little pumpkin made of concrete. This is kind of the last little area I'm gonna film here. Uh, it goes on for a little bit longer, uh, but we have some more over here. Have one more interesting grave. Right here. Uh, it's got some color tile. Looks like it could be pretty new. Uh, the concrete doesn't look that old. But it's been painted white, it's got some red and orange. But yeah, just like weddings, each area will have their own uh, separate kind of tradition, the way they do things. And it seems to be where I'm at, the tradition is raised tombs, uh, less of the circular ones that you might find in some of the cities, the larger cities. Uh, so yeah, very interesting. I know this video is a little different than maybe what you've seen on my channel. Uh, my goal in videos like this is to introduce a new perspective, a new way to look at things. Maybe it's a little bit different than uh, what we're used to. And really that, that allows us to see the world differently, to expand our horizons and Visiting here today, I can honestly say that that's helped me. It's helped me look at things a little bit different. Well, that's it for today. If you like what you've seen, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel, Two Feet Two Worlds. I'll see you on the next adventure.